What's going on YouTube? It's your boy K Dash, and I'm bringing you a new video, and this will be basically my G5 Panasonic Lumix settings for filming video. Um, if you shoot music videos and you edit in post production, this video will be very helpful for you. After you watch the video, if it was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it. All right, let's get straight into it. So you wanna make sure that it's on the manual camera. And I apologize ahead of time if I start clicking around looking for something because I mean, once you have it set up, I mean, you don't really have to go in here and change much. So for the exposure, I have that manual. This is where you'll find a lot of your video settings at. For the um, recording format, I use MOV. You can use the others. However, like I said, I use the MOV. Um, for recording, recording quality. This is the biggest place that I'm at most of the time. Um, as you can see, it's on 4K. Hopefully y'all can see that. It's on 4K 8-bit. Um, I noticed that this works the best for me. It seems that it doesn't matter what type of SD card that I purchase, when I record 4K on 10-bit, it constantly stops. So I, I identified that the 4K 8-bit, it does not stop. That's my 60 frames per second. And here is the 4K 8-bit 24 frames per second. So these are the two main ones that I use when shooting um, music videos. If I want some slow motion, I use the 60 frames per second. And then when I'm just shooting regular performance shots, I shoot with the 24 frames per second at 8-bit. Um, continue autofocus. I really don't use this much because it's, I have it in manual. This is how you change it from, um, autofocus to manual. So I, I use manual a lot so I can use the focus peaking and I'll go over that shortly. So as far as the profile that I'm shooting in, it is the vlog profile. I do believe that it's an extra fee. For the vlog, it does not come with the GH5. I think I paid like 100 or $120. Um, so that does come separate, but you have your standard profile, your Vivid, natural, monochrome, L monochrome, uh, scenery, portrait, custom one, custom two, custom three, custom four, and then center like D. Center like D, I know a lot of people that shoot in this profile, I never shot in it. Um, I maybe need to shoot something sometime soon. Center like V, like SO9. I don't re I don't recall this one. Um, and then Vlog. Vlog, I shoot in Vlog because it is the flattest profile. Um, that is pretty much it. I do use focus peaking. I want to find that um, so I can show y'all exactly where that is. All right, I was able to find this, um, the peaking, focus peaking, right before my camera is about to die. Um, however, you're going to go into the settings and then monitor display and then turn the peaking on. And what it does is that everything that's in super focus will turn red. And you can see the little red that's in the so let's see it's too much light over here there we go so um that's pretty much it for the settings that i use like i said try to keep your iso low i shoot in the flattest profile i edit in adobe premiere pro um and yeah, that's pretty much it. So check out some footage that um, I shot. 